Hey guys, Deju22 here, and up next is the World Heavyweight Championship Scramble, and we're just going to get a couple of uh, rules out of the way. It is a 20-minute time limit match. Two superstars will start in the ring. Uh, the order of entry was determined by a random drawing, a lottery if you will. And every five minutes, another superstar enters. If a superstar scores a pinfall or submission over another, he becomes the current champion or the champion in possession of the title. And whoever is in possession of the title at the end of 20 minutes officially becomes the champion. And with that, let's find out who number one and number two is right now. Let's do it. And number one is none other than the game, Triple H. And wait a minute. He's not the world heavyweight champion. Wait, wait a second. How? Okay, how the hell did Triple H get a hold of that belt? I'll tell you one thing right now. As soon as this match is over, regardless of whether or not Triple H wins this match, when this match is over, he is going to hear it from me. That is not his championship, damn it. That's that's Moogle Masters. That's Moogle Masters championship. What are you doing, Triple H? So what are you a thief all of a sudden? Oh my god, Triple H, yeah, he's going to get it from me when I'm done with when this this match is done or actually after the whole night is over. He's going to hear it from me. And I'll tell you one thing. Triple H is going to be in a world of hurt when I get a hold of him right then and there. But for now, he, he's number one. I think that would be punishment enough, but no. No, I mean, even if he, like I said, even if he wins, he, he's, he's going to hear it from me. I'll tell you one thing right now. But yeah, like, how did he get a hold of that championship? That, that's the million dollar question. How did he end up with that championship? Because I, I have no idea how he got a hold of it. But the only thing I can tell you is that it's not his. It's not his title. But now let's find out who number two is. Well, folks... His name is John Cena. And I'll tell you what, folks. John Cena has a golden opportunity to become the world heavyweight champion. And, I'll, and, and also, you know, John Cena... In some places he is loved, in others he is hated. But the crowd at this time is loving him, mainly because of the fact that Triple H is a no-good lousy bastard, and now he's turned into a thief is Triple H, but I'm still mad about that. Like, how he got a hold of that championship that's not even his? At least not at this time it's not. But that's what it's for. The World Heavyweight Championship. So, just before the bell rings, uh, I want you guys to know that in possession of the championship is the current, the, the real current champion, and that's Moogle Master. So right now, Moogle Master, even though he is not in the ring at this present time, alright, match underway, but at the present time, he is in possession of the championship is Moogle Master. So yeah, even though he's not in the ring, he is not, he, he is the champion in possession. Of course, if either Triple H or John Cena pin one another at this time, then whoever gets the pinfall or submission will become the champion in possession. So that's that's just some, that's just something I wanted to excuse me get off my chest. I have a little bit of gas myself. I'll have to get some uh, some water or something. Uh, whatever it takes to cure the gas, I guess. 
So for the first five minutes, this is a 20-minute matchup, so we know how long it's going to be, but who's going to win at the end of this is a mystery to me. And then an armbar onto Triple H. These two men know each other so well that... I mean, th these, these two are two of the best in the WWE. Now, wait a minute. One. Nope. Kick out by Triple H. I mean, John Cena went for a, uh, a roll-up, but couldn't quite get the job done there. A hammerlock on to John Cena. An arm ringer flip and a uh, and a leg drop onto the left arm of uh, John Cena. And a belly to belly suplex onto Triple H. An elbow smash onto the elbow or the arm of John Cena. And a whip into the corner goes John Cena. And a, a, a back suplex onto John Cena. Another whip into the corner. And wait, John Cena counters. And whipped into the other corner is uh, Triple H. Excuse me. Just have to readjust myself here. All right. And an arm breaker on a Triple H. And one right back to John Cena. And John Cena countering with a super hip toss. I mean, so far, if you're Moogle, you have to be loving the fact that, you know, these two guys are nowhere near Jeopardy for either one to get pinned. I mean, I honestly believe that number three and number four are the best positions to be in. Because if you're number one or number two, you have to be there in the entire match. And if you're number five, I mean, yeah, you'll be fresh, but then you won't have a lot of time to prepare, or you won't have a lot, you won't have a lot of time to, you know, go for a pinfall or submission victory. So I, I truly believe number three and number four are the two best numbers you can draw in a match like this. We're less than a minute away from uh, the entry of number three. And then whipped into the steps is John Cena. Now remember, this match is false count anywhere, so... And there are no disqualifications, so these guys can do whatever they want to each other. And then whipped into the barricade. Then to the steps is Triple H. One! Two! Ooh, very close was Triple H to getting pinned. And if that had happened... Uh, John Cena would have been in possession of the championship. And thrown it back in the ring is John Cena. Alright, less than 10 seconds, we're going to get another competitor. 3, 2, 1. Well, it's the current champion, Moogle Master. And like I said, Moogle Master is has drawn one of the two best numbers you can draw. And that's number 3 or number 4. He's number three. So he's fresher than these two guys, but he'll have some time, if needed, to get a victory over... Well, actually, no. Since Moogle is the champion, all he has to do is prevent a pinfall or submission on anybody. So he has to play defense, since he is in possession of the championship. A neckbreaker onto uh, Triple H. 
And Moogle Master... A Moogle Arrow. And John Cena... Just... For some reason, John Cena was just standing there like an idiot. And... I'm not sure... What's Moogle Master doing? I'm not sure what he's trying to do. And now, wait a minute. Triple H with a surfboard stretch. Well, broken up immediately by Moogle Master. Realizing that had John Cena tapped out, uh, Triple H would have been the champion in possession, by the way. Just, just to be clear. And then a DDT on a John Cena... And then a, a pinfall. Wait a minute. Well, never mind. As John Cena kicked out. Okay. And whipped into the post is John Cena. And thrown back in the ring is John Cena. And then a spine buster on a Triple H. Or from Triple H onto John Cena. And now, wait. Nope, not even a one count on John Cena. And Moogle Master's more or less doing the smart thing and just keeping his distance, but also... Wow! A, a spear right to Triple H from John Cena. Oh no, wait a minute. John Cena! One! Two! Oh, kick out by Triple H. Moogle, for a moment, it looked like he was going to lose the championship in possession because he was too far away from uh, the ring. And now, wait a minute. Oh, now, wait a minute. Triple H has just been busted open. And now Triple H is in a lot of trouble now. Oh, and a huge right hand onto Triple H. But for the most part, Moogle is just staying away from the competition. And now he's going to get some on Triple H now. And now a back suplex onto Triple H. And then a, 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 a knee breaker or a, a chop block, I should say, sorry, onto John Cena. Thrown over the top rope is John Cena. And Triple H taking down the announce table. I mean, we just got that thing fixed, man. What are you doing? A gut wrench suplex onto Moogle Master. And now, wait a minute. A body slam onto Moogle Master. And then a, a backside slam onto Moogle Master. All but Triple H going right back to John Cena. A back suplex onto John Cena. John Cena fighting off uh, Moogle. But just like that, Triple H from behind. And now within less than a m 45 seconds, we'll have another competitor. Then a kick to the leg of John Cena. Picking up John Cena is Moogle. A knee breaker onto John Cena. And a neck breaker on a John Cena. And a couple of elbows right to the arm of John Cena, the left arm. All but a takedown on a Moogle. All right, who's up now? Well, here comes CM Punk who has definitely had his fair share of problems with John Cena and Triple H. And in fact, Triple H suplexes CM Punk right into the ring. So CM Punk has drawn uh, the other best number that he could draw, and that's number four. And wait a minute, John Cena? Oh wow, John Cena has been busted open. But yeah, Punk is also in a good position because there's enough time for him to win the championship. But for Moogle, all he has to do is prevent a pinfall or submission on anybody, and he will retain the title. 
And now, look at this. Look, look at Moogle. Look at Moogle. Look at this. He's getting jiggy with it. Look at this. Look at this. Wham! Right to John Cena. Meanwhile, uh, CM Punk was uh, outside with Triple H for some odd reason. I don't know why. Well, Triple H takes down uh, Punk. And now John Cena has a steel chair. What's he going to do with it? Oh, and he knocked out... Uh, he, he knocked uh, Moogle in the head with that chair. I don't think he got all of it, though, but he got just enough to, you know, do a number on him a little bit. And a hip toss right back inside the ring is uh, Moogle. And now, wait a minute, John Cena, what's he doing? Uh oh, wait a minute. The attitude adjustment. Attitude adjustment on a Moogle Master. And a belly to belly suplex on to Moogle Master. And another one. And, um, oh, okay, guys, what are you doing? Oh, nice T bone suplex on to Triple H. Wait, one. Nope, kick out by. Oh, it was, it was Triple H. I couldn't see who got the cover on whom at that angle. But yeah, Moogle is playing a good match. He's he's making sure that no one gets a pinfall or submission on anybody. And now, wait a minute. Moogle twist. Moogle twist on John Cena. And then a stomp right to the gut of Triple H. And uh oh, CM Punk is smelling victory right here. What's he going for? Now, he's going for the Anaconda Vice, and Moogle Master, too busy getting jiggy with it, didn't notice that uh, Triple H has just tapped out. And now, CM Punk is the one in possession of the championship. So, like I said, I mean, CM Punk drew number four, so naturally he would be in a position to win one. Nope, kick out by CM Punk. So now Moogle Master is going to have to try to pin, you know, Triple H or John Cena or CM Punk or whoever the last guy is. And I'll keep that a surprise for now as to who it is. But right now CM Punk has, is in possession of the championship. And if the match was to end right now, he would be the champion. And now wait a minute. Moogle twist onto John Cena. And now, okay, what the hell is Moogle doing? I mean, he better quit dancing and start getting to work. Pile driver onto CM Punk. Meanwhile, once again, Moogle Master's just getting jiggy with it. As he knocked down John Cena, and now, uh oh, wait a minute, Triple H going for it. Pedigree! Pedigree on to CM Punk. And then John Cena one. Nope, kick out by CM Punk. But then again, CM Punk is relatively fresh. And now, wait. The GTS. GTS on to uh, Triple H. And Moogle Master. Wait a minute, now attack from behind by CM Punk. And in less than 10 seconds, we're going to have our final competitor. Another pedigree on to CM Punk. And here comes the United States champion, Jake the Snake. And if Jake the Snake somehow manages to win this match, he will become a double champion. But then he would have to give up the United States championship. Uh, that, that's just part of the rules. And now, wait a minute. One. Oh, now a kick out by both... Uh, Moogle Master and Triple H. So now we have all five competitors in there. But yeah, Jake the Snake is at a disadvantage because yeah, he's fresh, but he does not have a lot of time to work with. And then a fist drop onto uh, Jake the Snake. 
So right now, CM Punk is the champion in possession. Power slam on a John Cena. And now wait, one. Nope, kick out by John Cena. A gut buster onto uh, Moogle Master. And then a suplex onto uh, Triple H. And then meanwhile, wait, one. Nope, broken up immediately by uh, Jake the Snake. And now, well, actually, Punk doesn't need to pin anybody. He is in possession of the championship, so he doesn't need to pin anybody. He, he is... He's right where he needs to be anyway. A gut buster on a John Cena. Now, wait a minute. One. Nope, kick out by John Cena. One. Two. Nope, kick out by Moogle Master. And now Moogle Master, what's he doing? Not sure what he's doing is Moogle Master. But while that happens, power slam on to John Cena. Oh, but he picks up John Cena. I'm not sure why, but... A tilt-a-whirl backbreaker on to Moogle Master. And then a clothesline on to Jake the Snake. A leg sweep on to Triple H. Now, wait a minute. One. Two. Oh, Jake the Snake almost had the World Championship in his grasp. And now, Moogle Master is getting jiggy with it. This time on CM Punk. Wham! And wait, what's wrong with CM Punk? And CM Punk has just been busted open. A Moogle twist, and then an attitude adjustment onto Triple H. Now, wait a minute. One. Nope. Broken up immediately by uh, Jake the Snake. And the Moogle spinner. And now, wait. One. Nope. Broken up immediately by Jake the Snake. One. Nope. Broken up again by Jake the Snake. And then a jawbreaker onto uh, Moogle Master. Body slam, and then a leg drop. And attitude adjustment onto Triple H. Wait, one, two, nope, broken up by Moogle Master. And CM Punk and uh, John Cena have been whipped into the corner. And another shoulder tackle. One. Two. Ooh. Jake the Snake almost had it right there. And now Triple H turns his attention to Jake the Snake. Got about near 30 seconds left. Nope. Nope. Kick out by Jake the Snake. Too fresh at this point. And a neck breaker on to Moogle Master. And then a, a German suplex. Now, wait a minute. Cobra Clutch! On to uh, John Cena, but broken up immediately by Moogle Master and CM Punk. And the winner is CM Punk. He was able to get that pinfall victory on, I believe it was uh, John Cena or, no way, Triple H, he pinned him. But the winner, bloody and everything, and there's the former champion, and then there's the United States champion, but the winner... And the new, or actually no, the winner and once again, the heavyweight champion of the world, CM Punk. I mean, Punk has been in a lot of big matches, so you would think that he would know how to win, and he just proved it tonight.
So CM Punk getting the better of two of his adversaries and Triple H and, C, uh, and, and John Cena. But CM Punk is once again the champion. But folks, we still have one more match. One last match. And it will be for the W or... No, no, no. Or excuse me, the World Wrestling Federation Championship. Stay tuned. That match is up next. <laughs> 